Yo, yo, everyone, welcome back. It is Vordy, and we got some exciting news here today again. Woo! Kind of? Ish? Um, so, the news is we got a new event and stuff coming along, but as always, just before we go into it, I just wanted to update you guys a little bit about my stuff. So, there, this is my new TM farming team. I am uh, doing Lunith, and uh, my second Shizuru, my third Zidane. A funny story about this guy, apparently I had this guy. Apparently I had Carl, and I never, like looking through my box, I never ever ever came across him. I even leveled him up at one point, I guess during the event. I need this. Seal of Destruction, I don't understand how I didn't know that he was there. And then uh, this guy, because he's already at 76, he was at 70% just from feeding him into himself. So I'm just going to finish this off and get him to uh, 200%. So... So, boys and girls, boys and girls, and muggles, and moogles, and Harry Potter. Alright, so, cool stuff. First first and foremost, which I think is actually really good, it's a good time for it to come out. The thing that's coming out as well on Friday, when the event begins, is the Cactor Duins, which is really good. Uh, personally, for me, it's really good because I wanted to level up my, uh, my Prim. I want to max her out. I think I have a few more units that are... I turned into six stars, but then I never maxed them out. So this is my chance to max them out, which is actually a perfect, perfect time uh, for it to come out. So I'm definitely going to be taking advantage of this. And if you got some units that you want to level up, this is a good chance to do, to do it. Uh, but keep in mind, you might want to probably do this after you complete the event or finish all your farming for the candies. All right, so that's cool. All right, we got. Trials of Love, it's a community event. So essentially what this says here, this blurb of stuff, uh, is that you can participate in this uh, event by pretty much kind of writing about your experience or your hardships or kind of thing. Uh, it says those are able to survive their generously rewarded, help, the, uh, help those who are stepping up in the challenge by sharing your experience. So sharing your experience in this stuff. It's, it's a community event, you can do it on the Facebook page. Go for it, all right? If, you're, if you do this kind of stuff, go for it. Um, Trials of Love. This is the event. All right. So once a year, the Trials of Loves appear in a dimensional uh, dimensional vortex. Woohoo! Yeah, baby. Um, uh, so it's a test of true love, friendship, and okay, but uh, the riches and uh, uh, cool. So essentially, what that means is you should probably read that on your own time. All right. Cool. So the event time. The event time is only about a week. Right, so it's from uh, Friday till the th th Thursday, following Thursday. So you don't have a, a lot of time to do it. Uh, from the looks of it, I don't think you're going to need that much time. It's not like you're going to be collecting items or anything. But from, from the looks of this stuff, there is, there's two different uh, TM style things here. There's a bunch of six star leveling materials. Um, which it appears like it, so it, there's chests and stuff. So it says, get your rewards by opening the treasure chest in the dungeon. So it's like an exploration dungeon, right? So opening the chest will give you these rewards. Okay, I mean, normally when they have the pictures up like this, it means that you can actually find it in the event. So uh, there's going to be two different styles. I don't know. Or did they just throw that in there? I, I, don't, I don't really know yet. Ah, okay, cool. So global exclusive rewards. These rewards are actually pretty good. They're actually pretty good. So, uh, you got Cupid Sandals, which is Attack 15, Spirit 12. It's males only. It's not that bad for an accessory. Uh, you know, the, for some characters, and depending on where you are in the game, this side actually might be better for you than Heroes Ring, based on your character's uh, base stats, all right? So, this is pretty good. So you get this in, in, a, in a chest in the beginners. So, there you go. Next, you have Cupid's Robe. My gosh, golly. My gosh, golly, friends. Defense 12, Magic 30, Spirit 30, ba-boom! Hello, brain blown. This is actually a really good robe. It could go on a healer or a support unit with, or a magic caster. This is really, really nice. And it's not bound to a sex, so it's not male or female, so it's perfect. I think that's actually pretty good. Considering that, like, uh, Lordly Robe is, like, five more stats on that. You get 35 magic, 35 spirit. Uh, and 35 defense or whatever, but like yeah, it's like it's right there uh, almost like as, as good as a TM armor Next is lovely rod Okay, lovely rod females only 
you know, attack ma magic is pretty good. 55 spirit, 12. It's not bad as a dual wielding item, perhaps. Uh, unless this is the best item you got and you haven't beaten the trials one where you get the, the rod, which is actually a lot better than this one. So this is still a pretty good item. For having a chance of getting it for free from a chest, not bad. Not bad at all. So it's pretty good. So for the dungeons, so this is exclusive words from the treasure chests that you can get. Down here is from the dungeons. So when you beat when you beat the beginner the first time, you'll get 100 lapis. There you go. For beating intermediate, bam, you get a ticket. Uh, advanced, another 100 lapis. And then finally, they're bringing this back again. However, it's not 10%, that's 5%. So we'll get a 5% uh, trust moogle, which is great. Uh, I think the reason they're moving away from the 10% trust moogles is because we're getting a lot more of these events. Like, especially here on Global, we get, like, the Christmas event, we get the Halloween event, we get, uh, what do you call it, uh, Valentine's Day events and stuff like that. So there's a lot of these events that are coming out. So I think they've removed the idea of putting in 10% and just put in 5s because we're going to get more of them more often, right? So it's pretty good. So that's the ultimate test of love, baby. So there's a bunch of monsters here that we fought before. We got the double-headed dragon and behemoth here. Medusa looking lady, spider lady. So it's the bosses we fought again through different uh, story quests and stuff. So it says here, menacing bosses will challenge you one at a time. Bosses use multiple element, uh, elemental attacks and status elements. Be sure to bring units best capable withstanding them. Woohoo! So that means is that obviously if they're going to be using multiple element attacks, you're going to make sure that you have resistances like bar spells. Uh, as well as status ailments, which means you might want to bring remedies or stuff like that, or have characters that can cure them, like, uh, you know, Refia or somebody like a Cloud of Darkness who can cure different kinds of ailments. Alright, so you can exit from the dungeon and keep your loot only in beginner, intermediate, and advanced. So, in here, intermediate, so beginner, intermediate, and advanced, you can, so anybody... You don't have to be amazing to beat the event. You can go into the dungeon, get the chest for the uh, the boots, the armor, and the thing, and then just exit the dungeon, and you will still keep your loot. You can exit from the dungeon and keep your loot only in beginner, intermediate, advanced. So therefore, there's no excuse for anybody not to get those really good items. They're really, really good items. They're free. That's what makes them really good, right? We're not gonna. Uh, compare these items to TMs. Obviously, TMs are better because they're harder to get. You, you, you know, they've designed them to be better and stand out that way. So we're not comparing TMs and these items. We're comparing the free items you can get by buying them with gil and and rewards from leveling in your quest. And this, these items are amazing in that comparison. Okay, these items are really really good, and there is no excuse for you not to go get it. So get out there and show your love. Alright, so next one, choose a path that you are most comfortable with. So I'm not really sure what this is pertaining to. Uh, be prepared to bring items like tent and lots of potions. Cool. Alright, so again, that's pretty good advice. So I mean, like, we'll see. Well, I mean, on Friday morning, I will be running this event and making a video and putting it up right away, really early in the morning. So if you're unsure what to do, then uh, stick around for that video. I'll definitely post it on you guys for sure. So as well, with this event, we're going to be able to enlist the help of Mary and the many other memorable characters from the Valentine's Day special. Cool. Their lovely power will help you through the dungeon. So you have Cupid, Artemis, Artemios, Artemios, Artemisios, whatever. Uh, Mary and then Luna. So this is her first show up here. She's a green mage. But hang on, we'll talk about that in a minute too. And then you have Luna, who we already have. She's the one with Barrage. And Artemos. All right, cool. So now the characters. So Friday morning, we're also gonna get uh, these characters to summon on. So you have uh, Mary, you have Luna, and you have Artemios. Artemos. Ah man, I'm butchering it. So uh, drop start February 10th, which is the Friday morning. Cool. So who? Jeez, gosh, golly, I was about to sneeze a roo. All right, so here's Mary. She's a green mage. She's a five star, five star base, goes to six star. So she's the big kahuna here. She's the big bird, the big fish, the big cheese that we're gonna be going for. Uh, so green mage, which is good. She's kind of like serious, but she's actually uh, a usable character. Okay, she gets some pretty good enhancements later on, and she's uh, she has what I like to call an amazing ability called reflect. It's just like Carbuncle's Reflect, but you can cast it at will whenever you need it. So, if you're fighting a boss and you know he's going to be casting a big spell, you can cast AoE Reflect on your team. Uh, it's going to help you 
you know, mitigate that damage and reflect it back at the boss. Alright, so first of all, her stats are pretty good. She's, she's got a healthy amount of hit points, healthy amount of MP, healthy amount of spirit, and then everything else is pretty good too. So for like where she sits, like her magic is okay, defense is pretty good too. So she's not super squish, which is good. You want your green mage to be able to stay alive. Then, like her item, man, just blows my mind. Her trust mastery is called Rainbow Robe. 45 armor, 45 magic, 45 spirit. And if that wasn't enough, ladies and gentlemen, please hang on. All elemental resistance except darkness plus 30%. Jesus! My gosh, golly, that's good. That is a really good TM. Like, you can go on a magic cast, you can go on a healer. Ugh! Like, it, it's really good. And even for the resistances, you can go on some on other units just to get the resistances when you need them. So, a green mage that can protect her allies from all elemental damage. So she's got to get all the bar spells. Woo! Hopefully they're 70% as well. And various status ailments. Woohoo! Great! She can also weaken her enemy's elemental resistances. So she's also a buffer and a debuffer, which is normally what a green mage is. They buff your party, they debuff the enemies. All right? Uh, she can weaken her enemy the elemental resistance and inflict various status ailments on them as well. So she can also cast status ailments that probably like paralyze blind, etc, etc. Her reflect ability enables her allies to bounce b uh, back magic cast by the enemies. Hell yeah, bruh. That's what I'm talking about. That is a cool spell. Cool. So she's... She's pretty good. I would say like... Like Randy is amazing because of the enhancements that he has the potential to get as long as we don't get screwed out of those enhancements like what jp gets if we get the same enhancements as jp when we do get our enhancements randy's gonna be a beast she also has a potential for getting some good uh, updates as well we'll do the unit spot spot reviews later this is just kind of like an event overview all right next uh, global exclusive limited time only new ally okay so this is our boy here cupid so their job is cupid archer so artemos is also a cupid archer Healthy, like actually a very healthy amount of hit points. Uh, decent attack. It's pretty good. It's not that bad. It's a good attacker. He also gets some magic, some spirits, some defense. His defense is not that bad. MP is not that bad either. So he's a four star, right? This is the guy you might be able to see. Like if you're not going to be spending a lot of uh, gems on him or lapis, you're going to probably see him uh, at least maybe once or twice through the week. Uh, as you're summoning, if you get lucky in the gold crystal. All right. Again, these guys have amazing tms like we're talking about best in slop best in slop best in slot type of tm so this one is the Sal saluna band defense 20 percent hello hit points 20 percent hello light and dark resistance 25 girl are you serious are you serious right now this is a this item is definitely going on a tank if i get him i'm gonna farm his tm i'm definitely putting this on a tank like my my Cecil would love this, and the Dark Resistance is just a bonus. Just these two stats are incredible. It's fantastic. All right, so uh, a strong attacker, uh, a strong attacker unit focused on dealing light damage. Okay, cool. That can also weaken his uh, enemy's Dark Resistance. Great. He has many killer abilities and can greatly power up his allies. So to break this apart, he deals light damage. He weakens his enemies to dark damage, which makes no sense to him. However, this is set up to bring the other cupid with them which we're going to look at in a second so he will deal light damage but will weaken it to dark damage to dark resistance he has killer abilities which is perfect so hopefully he's got multiple killer abilities so he should have multiple killer abilities uh so probably like demon and maybe like undead or whatever the thing is and can greatly power up your uh, his allies which means he's probably got an ability kind of like cheer maybe like focus or something like, uh, like that as well so great so he's like uh, he can buff your party plus he's gonna do some damage so we're just gonna see what his kit looks like. Now, the last unit here is Cupid Luna. She's a three star base, which is the one that we're mostly gonna be getting. Uh, decent amount of hit points. Her attack is actually greater than, than the other dude there. She's got a good attack. Low spirit, low defense, very squish, low MP, and, and higher magic. So her magic and her attack are very interesting. Okay, very, very interesting. Her TM is God sent. God sent TM. God sent. It's called Saluna Ring, MP 30%, Auto Refresh, Light and Dark Resistance 15%. That Auto Refresh, so for example, let's say you have somebody like Lunith or Lightning or whatever who has an innate light, or, uh, refresh ability, which means at the end of every battle or after every turn, sorry, after every turn, they get a little bit of, of MP back, which is normally 5%, right? This stacks with that. 
So if this is 5% as well, we'll see when the data mine comes out. If this is 5% as well, so that means at the end of that turn, your character will get 10% back. Or if you don't have a character who doesn't have it, like for example, like a healer, if I get this girl, which I'm, I'm hoping I'm gonna get at least one or two of them, I'm farming her TM immediately. I'm putting this auto refresh on my healer right away, because this is exactly what I was hoping to get on something, somebody like Refia. Uh, or even if you wanted to, you can put her on a mage, which I don't think might be a good idea, because with mages you're kind of attacking and stuff like that. It's better just to keep them at magic up, but you can put this on a healer, you can put this on like a tank, like Cecil or something where you need him to be casting provoke and buffing and healing and all that shenanigans too. Like, it's not that bad of an item for like multiple characters, which is very, very interesting. Prior to, uh, our TMs are either focused to one unit or another unit. Like, it's like, ugh. This is giving you an opportunity, like, it could go on anybody. Like, where you want it. MP is valuable for all characters. Auto refresh is valuable for all characters. Dark light resistance is just a bonus, okay? So it, that's fantastic. Okay, so my advice on all of these characters, if you can get at least one of each, you can you can wash your hands and you'll be like, God, I'm good, I'm set, that's great, all right? So let's see what they say about her. A strong attacker unit focused on dealing dark damage. That can also weaken her enemies' light resistance. She can break her enemy's offense and defense. So as you can tell, our two cupids here work hand in hand. So they buff each other's attacks. This one will buff the whole team, this one will break the whole monster together. So we're just gonna see what the abilities are like. Is it a full break? What kind of break it is? What kind of buffs are his are and stuff like that. So I'm I'm recording this pretty early in the morning. Well, literally. So I'm gonna send this out there for you guys and then as more information comes out about uh, units breakdowns and stuff like that, I'll probably make a second video talking about them, uh, their kits and their abilities as well, okay? So Hopefully you guys are very, very excited because I am. This is going to be a pretty good event. The items are really good. You can easily get them. I'm hoping that those uh, TM thingies we saw... Uh, I hope that these TMs here are something good or usable at least. Um, and it's pretty good. So yeah, uh, stick around for Friday morning where I'm going to be making a video and posting it out there. Me completing each of the sections from beginner to end one by one. Uh, depending how long it takes, I might make each thing a different video. So that way you guys can... Uh, you can always refer back to it if you need help, okay? So, this is Vordy. Uh, if you like my content, please like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment down below if you guys are excited about this event. What do you think about it? What do you think of those items? Also, do you like the fact that you can exit the dungeon? Personally, I think being able to exit the dungeon is an amazing way to ensure that new players will also be able to benefit from the event, okay? That's my personal opinion. Please, in the comment section below, let me know what you guys think, okay? So... I think I, I think I got everything covered. Uh, yeah, happy hunting. See you guys on Friday morning uh, in regards to this particular event. All right. So thank you for sticking around. I will see you guys later. I'm out of here. Peace.